It's a very exciting day here in fifth grade at Parma, Michigan. We have a class pet. We have a Russian tortoise named Gus. And the kids are super excited to meet him. And my daughter and my son, my other daughter and their friend are meeting Gus for the first time right now. Let's check it out. Gus! Guys, <laughs> they want to crowd in on him. I can see him from here. Welcome to fifth grade, Gus. You're going to love it here. Oh, he's so cute. Do you feel the shell? It's so cool. Look, there's like a Batman symbol right there. Yes, he, he has patterns. So the turtle, the tortoise, is doing well in the class. Everyone is loving it. And one of my students yesterday said we need to change its name to Beagle. And I'm like, man, but the tortoise has been going by Gus for 21 years. And just after thinking of it, we decided that in this room, you need to be named after a book character. Beagle. And if a student thinks it should be named Beagle, Gus, his middle name is for now on Beagle. And in this classroom, he's going to go by Beagle. It's the only way, really. So it used to be Gus eats. Now it is Beagle eats. Beagle eats. So we're gonna this get is that Beagle tape right down. there. Here's Beagle. Oh, look how much more Beagle is moving Clapping. now that its name it's is Beagle. Beagle. Interesting morning today. It is uh, early release Wednesday, so the kids get out an hour early. And every Wednesday, Miss Haney, my principal, meets with two grades and has an assembly where she reads them a book, she shows them some video, she celebrates birthdays, they dance. Just, I'm the best principal in the world. She's awesome. While she, she's doing that, all of the fourth and fifth grade teachers, all of the support staff, and all of our special ed teachers and our title teachers, we're all together in a meeting talking about a student or two or three and just what uh, they need help from and like trying to brainstorm of ways to work well together with them. So it's really great. Then the kids don't come down here till 9, 10 instead of 8.30, so it's already a short day. Then it's even shorter on the Wednesdays when we have assembly. Um, but that time is so valuable. Um, but it was a little weird, and then we have a tortoise today. So that was like, it was just drop everything in tortoise because we needed to talk about Beagle. We needed to see Beagle. We needed to hold Beagle. Hope Beagle, Beagle's going to sleep well tonight. Um, and we kind of, kids kind of put themselves in groups of who's going to take care of Beagle the different weeks. I let them select their groups. They're very excited. The first group uh, did a wonderful job changing the water and feeding Beagle. They're very concerned about everything, which I love. Their hearts are just, their just hearts are so pure and magical. Uh, and now the kids are in gym. Usually they switch at special, but the kids are in gym now. They're going to come back um, and do some writing with me before we switch at lunch. So I'm actually going to kind of take you around the room and see what it looks like in the middle of the craziness. <laughs> All right, so usually when I am filming, all of these book baskets are taken care of, put away. But right now they're out, so let's let's have a look at what we're reading. We have some Big Nate being read. I book talk Swindle. This kid was super excited to read it. Uh, what a fun combination right there. I have a kid obsessed with I Spy books this year. Completely obsessed with I Spy books. A Bud Not Buddy reader. Uh, one of our fourth grade teachers read aloud Bud Not Buddy, and a lot of the kids are revisiting Bud, which makes my heart happy. Not really happy about the kids leaving these books wide open. Not real good on the spine, but, you know, you got to pick your battles. Dog Man. Pax. What do we got over here? Student Reading Wish. First Rule of Punk. The student's almost done. Oh, what a fun place to stop. Ivan, I survived. Man, these kids needed some bookmarks. I need to get them some bookmarks. Double down. What we got over here? Oh. Out of my mind. Love it. Maxwell Ride series. Miss Culver book talked this series this week when we were at the library. And the kids were pretty excited about it. 
amulet, sled dogs. Let's go over here a little bit more. And we have where the sidewalk ends and wonder. Interesting, you saw one of the, the kids over here is reading a Maximum Ride book. I haven't read those books, uh, but two, two girls are reading them. Uh, one girl introduced it to the other girl, and she read three of them, I believe. I think she finished three, and she's like, Mr. Sharp, these are getting a little too PG-13 for me. And I'm not 13, so I'm going to read something else, which I thought, oh, that's pretty awesome. She's monitoring her own reading life that well. Uh, great kids. We had a great morning. I am excited for them to come back and to do some writing. I think we might let Beagle walk around during writing with his Stegosaurus costume. My job is so awesome. So yesterday on social media, my friend Catherine Sokolowski posted that she used a prompt from the Creativity Project with her students. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And I don't know why I hadn't done that yet. I was kind of nervous to, to do it and thought it would be weird since I am the editor of the book. But I tried it today. I did the same thing that she did. We looked at Victoria Jameson's prompt and then we looked at John Shue's response to it and we tried it ourselves and it was so much fun. The kids writing the things that they remembered, the stories that they could come up with and then the things that they wrote, it was fantastic. Just gave just enough time to where they were able to get a lot done but not enough time to where they could finish anything. So they're, that, they're eager, kind of like stopping a novel read aloud at that cliffhanger. So a lot of great things done. Excited to see that, you know, maybe this book is going to add some value to classrooms. Uh, I don't mean to just talk about my book all the time in this little vlog, but hey, it's a story of my life, the vlog is, and the book is, is a part of that. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. I appreciate you. We read Beekle today. When you get a new tortoise and its name is Beekle, this is really the only book that you can read. And the kids loved it. They had all read it before, and they had all had positive experiences. They were super excited to go. Many of them had never seen the case, which was crazy. So they got to see that. Great conversation around it. It was really interesting to see how different the conversation around Beagle was in fifth grade compared to third grade. They noticed some things in the illustrations that they didn't notice before. They noticed the story a little differently. They took it in a little deeper. Loved it. Uh, can't wait to see how the tortoise Beagle just becomes part of our classroom and to see what the kids think of it. They loved it the first day. Excited to just see them take the ownership and responsibility of cleaning it and feeding her and just taking good care of her. She's going to be so loved. So thankful for this group of kids. Thanks for watching.